Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon and this is Monster Rancher. In the last episode, we got little Lottie to the C class. We're just trying to get him to win a couple more tournaments so he can get his fame to 85, which is the next step of unlocking a special breed. The next unofficial tournament is week four of September, sorry, October. So for September, we're going to do some training and hopefully get some numbers. Yeah, I know the sale ended. Don't worry, douche. Um, yeah, apparently I can get a new move from there, too. He's... Little Lottie is in a weird spot because he started with a good defense and a tank. You know, he's he's very much a tank. But I took a... I, I kind of sped through the E and D classes. So now his defense isn't all that special at this point. But I figure if I can get his life and defense up, since he's probably predisposed to those two particular traits, then he's going to be in fairly good shape and we'll be able to make him the tank he wants to be. Eventually. Alright, so we'll rest him once, work him, rest him once, and then go do the tournament. I guess since I'm only going to get one training period and I should make him do one of the more advanced trainings or work, hopefully he actually successfully does it. Uh, I'm, I, I can't, Colt. I mean, Holly. I can't with my voice right now. Screaming for you really hurt. Ah, oh, fuck off, Karn! Man, can't we just put out a sign that says no Karns allowed? No. Go away. Screw off. Do you understand, Karn? Because you keep coming back here week after week. Alright, uh, let's see. Speed and intelligence at the cost of power. Power and life at the cost of speed. Intelligence and skill at the cost of defense. Life and defense at the cost of skill. Mmm. Eh, why not? Hey, it's like Cart. He should be fine. Hey, good job, buddy. Boy, I just had a sudden flashback to, um, uh, Princess Maker 3. By the way, so for a long time, I have said on the channel that I know it's Monster Rancher and Evil Genius that puts butts in the seats. With probably my Sims 3 and 4 socialism challenges right up behind them. But now I'm starting to think that Princess Maker and Sakura are a little bit closer than I thought they were as far as the series that you all seem to enjoy the most on this channel. So there is a new daughter raising game that is coming out, I believe, by the end of February. I think it's February 28th. Uh, on Steam, so we'll definitely do that one. Um, I, I kind of don't want to interrupt Monster Rancher for it, but we'll see. Uh, I mean, it might be a real short game, or maybe I'll stream it or something, I don't know. Um, so yeah. If there are other series, or I should even say franchises, that you like so much on this channel, do let me know in the comments. Uh, that tells me, you know, it, it gives me some focus about what games to cover. And I, for example, I know Kalen, friend and fan of the channel, really desperately wants me to go back to the Bard's Tale. I don't think I will just because I have so many other things that are kind of on my plate. But I do know, you know, the last streaming Sundays we did was Breath of Fire 3. And we had a lot of requests to do that one to completion. So I'll take that under advisement too. The one I'm trying to get to is Earthbound because the Akamura has not seen that game, and I really want her to experience that one with me. And in fact, the whole reason I haven't done Earthbound yet is I want her to experience it with me. I don't want to just do the game on my own. So, yeah, you are not hitting me worth a damn, lady. The only problem is... I don't really have... Well, tackle is a 75. That's not bad. I, I probably only needed to drop one hit. Yeah. Well. Alright, two certainly does it, but... Man, she was quite... 
Wow, something she was doing must have been draining my willpower because I had a lot less than I anticipated I would. There we go. She has a lot of hit points for a pixie. Misha. Uh, the only Misha I know is Misha Tate. She's freaking awesome. Spalls her name differently. She's a badass, and I wouldn't want to meet her in a dark alley unless she was on my side and protecting me. All right, Boron tapped out. Excellent. So now I'm against Cordy, who we have had to deal with before. And that's not good, because he's an asshole. Last time we faced him, we had to dodge like 90% of our attacks. So we're going to have to hopefully not draw the short end of the RNG this time. Yeah, 310 speed. Awfully good. Ugh. All right. At least we probably will only have to deliver one attack. Okay. Are you satisfied with that? I, I'm hoping that physical attacks don't drain willpower. That's why I'm kind of trying to stay in his face. Doesn't seem like he or anyone else is foolerying all that much at this point, so... I, this probably isn't a strategy I can rely on for much longer. 62% is our most accurate move. Well, okay. Oh yeah, what about... Screech is 80! Wow, okay, yeah. For this kind of fight... Wow, he still dodged it. For this kind of fight, even though he's, um... Even though that's an expensive move and that's not doing that much, I need to just do whatever I can. Alright, well done, little Lottie. It's another victory for us. Another few thousand bucks in the bank. Hopefully this gets little uh, little Hottie's uh, fame up to over 85. Fingers crossed. Give us some numbers, man. I'm on the edge of my seat. Ugh. Okay, thank you for the prize money. Fame only to 77? Why? Why so low? Hmm. Well, when Chuck Pierce gave me the tips about how to unlock this special breed, he didn't say that I had to stay at the C-Class. He just said I have to get to the C-Class, so maybe if we go up a class, we'll be in better shape with that. Alright, when's the next tournament? Two weeks. Okay. Same deal then. Work hard in the mine. And then we'll rest you and send you right back in there. I'm going to have to do something about skill and try to work it back up a little bit. This is going to wind up being the tournament episode since I'm just kind of going full bore. I get trying to get my fame up. Right. Let's do it. Of course, the positive of that is we're going to have a lot more money to work with, too, so that'll help us out. I won't do it for the Let's Play, but I'm a little curious what would happen if I gave myself, like, infinite money, just millions or whatever, and then just did training. Like, if I didn't have to work and instead just did training all the time, if that doesn't directly harm the monster's lifespan, which it doesn't seem to... I'm sure I could easily get the numbers to finish the game easily in three monsters, if not fewer. Not that I want to do that, I'm just spitballing. Especially since I could, you know, play the game on my own sometime. 97% on Screech, just... I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need some power attacks here. Since our boy... Oof. Oof, that was not very good damage. Yeah, I, I shouldn't be expending that much willpower. Since that affects my accuracy too. All 
Alright, we should be alright unless he suddenly goes on a tear and hits me with a bunch of moves. Wow, two fooleries in a row. Yeah, more of that, please. Well done. I don't really feel like I won that one so much as just waited Mac him out, but whatever. You know, I just came to realize if I get more... If I get more fame by actually doing knockouts, which would make sense, I could explain why my fame isn't going up very high, because I'm not doing very many knockouts in these tournaments. I'm just going to have to keep going. just going to have to keep doing tournament after tournament until we get there. A little bit of money grinding isn't a bad thing, though. Uh, Cordy's the opposite problem. High dodge below life. Should only have to land one or two attacks. Preferably he fooleries. Come on, you dick. Foolery. Ow. That works. Yeah, that was a good chunk of his health. Boom. Wow, even a foolery, I only had an 86% chance on that one. Alright, now we can switch it back to tackle. So even if he fooleries again, I'll stick with a high percentage move. Could also do a screech. Come on, man. Get confused. Be intimidated by Lil Lottie's presence. And his really disturbing tentacles. That works. I'll take it. Do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. Or just hang out, that's fine. Since you're out of willpower anyway. Man, Adi's gonna be racking up the wins here if we just keep this up. It's nice to kind of hit my groove with Monster Rancher. Uh, it also... I, I think that probably bodes well because in the previous Monster Ranchers I've done for the channel, it's once I hit my groove that, hey, I just got paid by the tax office. Let's see if they didn't short my check again. Anyway, um, it's it's when I hit my groove that I usually go the whole distance and finish out the game. Not that I want the game to be over with. I'm just saying that, like, now that I've hit my groove, hopefully things are going to work well for me. I don't think I've raised a gel yet either in any of the videos that we've done. I... Ooh, that wasn't very much damage at all. That was some shit damage, in fact. I'm gonna have to land some shots. Um... The hell was I saying? Oh, I don't think I've raised a gel yet. <laughs> I said that in a weird accent. With... Uh, any of the videos. I know we... I've raised gels in the past. I don't particularly like them because they tend to be a little less accurate than I prefer, but still, I, I want to raise one for the show. I get into this rhythm toward the end, or even fairly early on, where my intention was to kind of raise one of everything, or at least try, but then, you know, once you get into breeding and such, then you're just going to happen to have monsters who are going to have the same... Uh, species, which is just part of it. Which is fine. You know. Just different. Okay, Lil Adi gets another tournament win and a CD fragment again. Well done, sir. Uh, Lil. Lil Adi. <laughs> Ugh. God, you're so gross. 85? Ah, oh, You're killing me, Lil Adi. You're killing me, man. Luckily, two more points just means one more tournament, so we just need to find when the next C-Class tournament is. Preferably not uh, the official one. I mean, I guess... Yeah, let's, let's just see. Nope, that is the official one. Son of a bitch. Alright, January 1. 
Ooh, so if I do training... Yeah, that wouldn't be good. I was gonna say, if I do training, then I'll be back on December 4. But, which means I could do the tournament, but then I'd have to throw him immediately into it, so I don't, I don't want to do that. Go ahead and rest, we'll work you as normal. Actually, that gives me a chance to get your skill back up to 300, so... That's fine, since I still don't know whether the game works in levels or raw numbers for that. Alright, have a fish. And let's start working on hunting. <laughs> let's go scare some reindeer, man! Ugh. Alright, one more of those and he'll be where I want him. Alright, so... I guess defense next, because I think it's fairly close to 200. God, he gets so few numbers with accuracy. Ugh, okay. Uh, let's see, where are we up to? Oh, he's not as close as I thought, but... Yeah, go ahead and work on defense. Whack a man with a stick or whatever you're gonna do. Oh, God. They could have gone several directions with that. A, a wall that fires a laser is pretty, pretty funny. Um, not quite as funny as some alternatives I was coming up with in my head, but it's fine. I probably would have just gone a bit simpler and had the, had little Adi just fall on him. Okay, so we got ten grand, and now we are going to battle in this tournament, the Fly Pill Cup, whatever the Fly Pill is. Give it a go. The monster shouldn't be more powerful, so Lil Adi should have no trouble here. Unless we get into some bad RNG, and hopefully we don't have to worry about that. There's Cordy again. Especially since we have a bit more skill now. I guess this would tell me, since I just fought Cordy, if our accuracy is significantly higher since we just hit a new level then the game must work in levels rather than raw numbers. Let's see. Forty. For the probe attack. Seventy-one for Screech. See, it feels like it works in raw numbers, because that's not substantially different. From where it was before. Yeah, go ahead and get it out of your system, Cordy. Just don't drain my willpower, please. That's all I'm asking. That way when I inevitably start attacking you, you're not gonna drain me. Yeah, there we go. Whoosh! I should start getting Lil Lottie's power up too, cause I'm starting to be a little weak on those shots. Stay in his face, stay in his face! Hold on as long as you can, little Lottie. Right now, he... There you go. I was going to say, right now, he can't really do much, so... Keep going. Spam him. There you go. Good job. Okay. Running out of time on this one. I might just finish this... Well, probably not, because I'm trying to keep the episodes from getting too long. Never mind. We'll probably do one more fight and then have to call it. Come on, Gorgon! You wuss. You golem bastard. We got your number. Me and Lil Adi. We know what you're all about. What with your muscles and your non-existent joints. Power only. Not really much of a threat. Just gotta be able to land some shots. And avoid... There we go. Nice. Just need two more of those. Make that one more of those. Switch to tackle. Hold tight. And he's got very little accuracy. Oof. Luckily, we delivered so much damage that we have uh, enough of a cushion that we can just be here. Yeah, well, that, that was that. All right, so that's going to do it for today. In the next episode, we'll finish out this tournament. Should get that 85... 
defense at that point or fame at that point and we'll be able to move on to the next step of getting a new breed thank you all very much for watching i will see you again tomorrow for another episode